In today's tutorial, we're diving into the installation of essential tools and the configuration of the command line interface. First up, we're installing Visual Studio Code. Open your preferred search engine and look for Visual Studio Code. Once you're on the result page, click on Download and choose the version for your operating system. For this example, I'm using Windows, so I'll grab the Windows installer, download EXE, run the executable file, accept the agreement and go through the default settings. Now, Visual Studio Code is installed, and you're good to go. Next on our agenda is the installation and configuration of the command line interface. Search for AWS CLI in your favorite search engine. Choose the option Installing or Updating the Latest and pick your operating system. Download the package installer. In this example, I'm on Windows, so it's an MSI installer. Accept the license agreement and let it install. Quick and easy. Now, open a command line interface. Search for CMD. And once you have the prompt, type AWS version to confirm the installation. You'll see the CLI version, but we're not ready to run commands yet. Why? Because we need credentials to authenticate ourselves with AWS. Let's head over to IAM in the AWS console to create access keys. In the AWS Identity and Access Management console, navigate to the Users section and choose your user account. Click on Security Credentials, and there you can create access keys. I recommend better methods like Cloud Shell for security, but for simplicity, Let's proceed. Click Create a new access key. Choose Command Line Interface. Click Confirmation and click Next. No need tag value. Just create the access key. Then copy the access key. Back in the command line, run AWS Configure. Then paste the access key. Next, copy the secret access key and paste when prompted. Note that the secret key is only shown once, so be cautious. Choose your default region and hit Enter. Default output format as it is and click Enter. Now CLI is configured. Now, try running AWS S3 LS to list your S3 buckets. If you don't have any, no output will display. Now you can create S3 bucket using this command. Now, you can list S3 bucket. While this method works, it's not the most secure. In upcoming videos, we'll explore more secure options. Before we wrap up, let me introduce you to AWS Cloud Shell. It's a browser-based shell for the AWS CLI, offering a secure and convenient way to run commands. Simply look for the Cloud Shell icon on the AWS Management Console or type Cloud Shell and choose the option. It automatically fetches your credentials and is a fantastic alternative. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more AWS insights.